he's kind of developed a few slightly crazy uh, uh, conspiracy theory stuff, like he's a bit of a flat earther, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Okay, so uh, Mars and Saturn in Capricorn. So this is really interesting. This is happening this year. We're making this video in uh, March 2018. So uh, Mars is just ingressed or is just about to ingress into Capricorn where Saturn is. What's interesting about this is Saturn rules Capricorn and Mars traditionally uh, was exalted in Capricorn, meaning they're both really strong in this sign. And traditionally Mars and Saturn, the two difficult planets, were kind of enemies, but in Capricorn they can collaborate because Mars is ruled by Saturn and Saturn is in the exaltation of and therefore really likes Mars and raises Mars up. But of course the what they represent symbolically is quite different where Mars is um, drive and uh, libido, desire, um, aggression, anger and all that stuff and Saturn is structure, conservatism, uh, boundaries, limitations, fears, restriction. So the way these tend to work when they go together in Capricorn is that Saturn, the highest possible manifestation I think, is that Saturn can focus Mars and give Mars, it'll really narrow Mars' focus and give it its task, say do this job. And Mars can push forward Saturn's agenda of making things more organized and editing and cutting out things that are not useful mm. because it's an earth sign it's a physical sign so does anyone have any thoughts on that well um what i really like this image is about uh, mars Saturn conjunction a special in capricorn because both sign enjoy both both planet enjoy staying in this side and so they can bring the bring out their best mm. and they can really working together understand each other i think for 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 this uh, Mars conjunct Saturn, what we can use is like uh, we're planning uh, kind of a, a little bit, of, what should I say, long term, maybe not long term, but two years because it's a, a, a Mars circle. Yeah. You know? So uh, 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 maybe around like a two or two and a half years plan from uh, right. around this time, you planned it. You make, a, you make a plan and then think how you're going to work on it because um, with Capricorn, this side is very practical. And that uh, is also with structure. So I, that's what I that's what I think is like a, a really good opportunity yeah. to make <clears throat> plans. Yeah. And maybe those plans about concrete stuff. So like yeah. building yes. or physical like physical training. Yeah. Or um for uh, or anything you want to achieve. Because you want you need achievement because that's a very mar Martian thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really good time to focus on anything that needs a, uh, that needs discipline. Mm -hmm. that requires hard work and the energy to do that hard work and to apply that discipli discipline is more available I think with uh, with Mars and uh, Mars and Saturn together in Capricorn. Mm. I love that phrase, hard Saturn work. Yeah, 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 <laughs> this yeah. is the perfect, yeah. I mean this is not fun mm -hmm. and it's not easy because whenever you put Saturn, the planet that says slow down, with mm -hmm. Mars, the oh, planet yeah. that wants to go faster, mm -hmm. it's really frustrating mm -hmm. and it's kind of a grind mm -hmm. but it's like hard work is mm -hmm. what it's about mm -hmm. and, and so I, I got the charts of a few people, a couple of people who have Mars and Saturn together mm -hmm. in Capricorn and one is the uh, the free runner, a free runner called Tim Sheaf. Anyone who doesn't know what free running is, it's the sport where people just literally run over buildings, they run up walls, and you've seen it in films and stuff, mm -hmm. they often get mm -hmm. people as stuntmen. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim Sheaf's an interesting guy, he has the sun in Aries, the moon in Cancer, and Mars and Saturn in Capricorn, mm -hmm. so he has a, uh, a sort of T-square with uh, the sun, the moon, mm -hmm. and Mars and Saturn. And so uh, he is a free runner, he runs up buildings, he's incredibly fit he's also this raw foodist vegan type person <laughs> and the interesting thing about this configuration mm. I think this is very relevant for this year mm. because Mars and Saturn are going to be together in Capricorn when the Sun goes into Aries mm. the reason that's relevant is because traditionally the day when the Sun goes into Aries the spring equinox mm -hmm. was called traditionally the revolution of the world mm -hmm. and that chart was always looked at for what's going to happen in the year ahead yes. so when you have have Mars and Saturn in Capricorn when the Sun goes into Aries they're in the 10th sign 
from, ah, from, from, from that. Mm -hmm. um, and that means that they kind of have an overcoming position mm -hmm. traditionally. They mm -hmm. like, they um, control what <coughs> happens mm -hmm. with the sun. So, um, so he has that natally. So he's somebody who, the sun in Aries is like, really, yeah, I want to go for stuff. And Mars and Saturn is like, you've got to work for it, work mm. for it, work for it. Yeah. And he's kind of developed a few slightly crazy uh, uh, conspiracy theory stuff. Like he's a bit of a flat earther, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, but um, he's also, I mean, he appeared as a Death Eater in Harry Potter films. So given that he's got Mars and Saturn in Capricorn, he'll be having his, Cap his Saturn return and his Mars return at the same time this year. So this will be a really interesting time for his career and whatever, maybe mm -hmm. a bit of a crisis, whatever. Another person with Mars and Saturn in Capricorn uh, without the Sun in Aries is Prince Andrew. But he has a very, I've got his actual chart, I don't have the birth time for Tim and Chief, mm -hmm. but for Prince Andrew, he's a Leo rising, which puts Saturn and Mars in his sixth house of illness and service. Mm -hmm. So this could be a year when he might have a few health problems, mm -hmm. because it really depends in astrology where those planets sit in the chart of a person or country. Uh, and it may also be a time, he can probably work through those health problems mm -hmm. because they, they, they will help each other out. Mars rules his 10th house, uh -huh. which is medicine and, and mother as well, mm -hmm. incidentally. Oh. So he could have some problems with his health, which should be worked out maybe by surgery or by medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, Mars type medicine, so surgery or stuff like that. And it could also be, he might have some difficulty with um, uh, public image uh, or some sort of health crisis or some issues with servants. Um, anyway, so those are just some Mars sound people. Interestingly, his daughter's getting married, isn't he? One of his daughters. Oh, oh I didn't married. know that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. Hopefully, what. that's not the Mars sound event. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, it may, of course, it may, some of this stuff may or may not be made public, mm. but I mean, yeah. I would assume mm. it's going to be some sort of health thing, but it might be because they're squaring his MC and IC, which mm -hmm. is his public versus private mm. life stuff. So there could be a bit of stress there. But uh, the only other thing I was going to talk about was Mars and Saturn. I looked at the last time Mars and Saturn were in Capricorn together at the revolution of the world, when the year began, when the sun was in Aries. Mm which is happening this year. The last time was in 1988. Hmm. And what that implies, the sun is authority figures, and the sun in it uh, is the and Mars and Saturn can give great power. Saturn is the common people, mm -hmm. whereas the sun is the king or the rulers. Yeah. And Mars is to do with workers. And remember, this thing is about hard work. What seems to, there seems to be an affinity between this combination and strikes, and the people right. who do the strikes coming out on top. So mm -hmm. what happened in 1988 in, in, in England, in the UK, mm -hmm. was that there was um, a postal worker's strike mm -hmm. and a nurse's strike. Wow. And the nurse's strike resulted in the nurses getting eventual pay rise. Mm -hmm. uh, the postal worker's strike was also resolved in favour of the postal mm -hmm. workers. Um, and the other interesting thing that happened, given that the sun rules royalties, that the Prince of Wales mm -hmm. narrowly avoided death by an avalanche and the Queen's equerry was mm -hmm. killed. Mm -hmm. So that's two people authority getting a bit afflicted by that mm -hmm. Mars sound. Mm -hmm. um, so That's anyway. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting what you said about strikes as well. I just I was just making a few little notes, um, thematic notes while you were talking. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I wrote down was things like useful delays. When you think of a strike it's like huh. a delay, you stop working, yes. you delay the work. Mm -hmm. And the usefulness of it, which is Capricorn. Mm. Capricorn loves things that are useful. Mm -hmm. To prove the structure. To prove yeah. the structure. To prove the structure is wrong, perhaps, in the working environment yeah. for whatever mm -hmm. reason, whether it's about pay or conditions. Yes. The usefulness of having a strike, of stopping, of making a delay. Mm. Which causes, of course, massive frustration. Frustration. Yeah. Everybody yeah. 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 But the idea is to yeah. improve yeah. the structure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like that. The, 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 the delay that Saturn causes mm -hmm. yeah. to Mars mm -hmm. in a strike is yeah. both representative of the reasons for the strike, yeah. people are really frustrated, yeah. they can't do their job or their job is in some way afflicted, yeah. mm -hmm. so then they strike which causes yeah. more frustration and mm -hmm. then eventually, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. it'll come out with a resolution which actually improves the structure and the way things Absolutely. are run. Mm -hmm. And that's much more likely when they're in Capricorn together because they mm. support mm -hmm. each other, put them in the opposite mm. sign of Cancer, and it's much more likely their strike would result in an unholy mm. mess. You yeah, know? absolutely. So, mm. Well, because yeah. I think it allows it allows I think used in used in in a, in a positive way it allows Indeed. anyone to bear the difficulties and to bear the frustrations that mm. maybe Mars brings. Mm stoically and patiently yeah. to see what the end result to see what's going to happen and hopefully to have a positive end result yeah so it's it's not fun it's mm. hard work mm. but hopefully mm. 
can be constructed. And I yeah. loved your idea about doing the the plan for the next mm. two. Would you mm. say two? Yeah. There's a two mass, around, cycle. mass cycle. So, so it's around two, two, around two and two, right. two years. Two and you could years, you yeah. could even extend that Mars yeah. cycle with yeah. the plan for the work that you yeah. would do, mm. a two year sort of plan. Yeah. But you could also look at when Mars and Saturn are next in Capricorn, because I think that happens approximately I didn't check the timing on this but approximately how often does that happen that they occur in the same sign I think something like 20 years I could be wrong about mm. that I haven't checked it yeah but you, it could even be relevant on the social mm. level to a yeah that, that would be more social level. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 